Welcome back to my vlog. Today I'm going to be talking about what is Druidism. And going into a little bit of information on Druidry. As you can tell I'm not in my usual spot to do my vlogs. Kind of cooking dinner outside and we a good place to do this vlog. Well, let's get right into it. Druidry or Druidism, it, as it is also known, manifests today in three usually separate ways. As a cultural enterprise to foster Welsh, Cornish, and Breton languages. As a fraternal pursuit to provide mutual support and to raise funds for good causes. And it, as is a spiritual path. Each of these different approaches draws upon the inspiration of the ancient druids. We're not getting bit by mosquitoes right now. Who were guardians of a magical and religious tradition that existed before the coming of Christianity and whose influence can be traced from the western shores of Ireland to the west of France and perhaps beyond. Caesar wrote that the Druids originated in Britain. The practice of Druidy or Druidism was replaced with Christianity by the 7th century. Even though little is known about these ancient sages, groups in Brit Britain who were inspired by the idea of the Druids began to form in the early 18th century. Like seeds that have lain dormant for centuries before finally flowering and Druidism began a process of revival. Started by scholars in Britain, France and Germany who became fascinated by the subject. And continued today by continues today by a small but rapidly growing number of people around the world who are inspired by the traditions, rituals, and teachings that have evolved over the last two and a half centuries, which draw upon mythology and folklore whose origins lie in the pre-Christian era. Druidry appeals to, in particular to people who have become disenchanted and much of, with much of conventional religious practice and are seeking a sense of spiritual connection to, with the land and with their ancestors. In today's fast-moving and environmentally threatened world, they are looking for a sense of rootedness in time and in place and for a sense of reverence for the earth. Druidy is one such way, and although at first sight it might appear, appear just a, an odd curiosity, a quaint memory from the distant past. If we take the time to look at it more closely, we discover a treasured chest just waiting to be opened. And in the chest, we can find at least seven gifts that Druidry brings to our modern world. The first gift is a philosophy, which emphasizes the sacredness of all life and our part in the great web of creation. It cares passionately about the preservation and protection of the environment, offers a worldview which is ecological, geocentric, pragmatic, idealistic, spiritual, and romantic. It does not separate spirit and matter. offers a sensual spirituality that celebrates physical life. The second gift puts us back in touch with nature, with a set of practices that help us feel that one at one again with nature, our ancestors, our, our own bodies, and our sense of spirit. By working with plants, trees, and animals, stones and ancestral stories, eight seasonal celebrations help us attune to the natural cycle and help us to structure our lives through the year and to develop a sense of community with all living beings. The third brings healing with practices that promote healing and rejuvenation 
using spiritual and physical methods in a holistic way to promote health and longevity. The fourth gift affirms our life as a journey with rites of passage for the blessing and naming of children, for marriage, for death, and for other times of initiation, when it is helpful to ritually and symbolically mark our passage from one state to another. The fifth gift opens us to other realities with techniques for exploring other states of consciousness, other realities, the other world. Some of these are also used in other spiritual traditions and including and include meditation, visual, visualization, shamanic journeying, and the use of ceremony, music, chanting, and sweat houses. But they are all grounded in specifically Celtic and Druidic imagery and tradition. The sixth gift develops our potential as as druids as druidy as it is practiced today offers a path of self-development that encourages our creative potential, our psychic and intuitive abilities, and fosters our intellectual and spiritual growth. The seventh gift of druidry is a gift of magic. It teaches the art of how we can open the magic of being alive, the art of how we can bring ideas into manifestation, and the art of journeying in quest of wisdom, healing, and inspiration. Those are the seven gifts that druidry or druidism gives to us. I hope this has helped you out and gave you some insight, maybe even piqued your interest to research it more. I'll be signing off here. I hope you all have a wonderful day, night, evening, wherever it is you are from. And always don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and ring the bell so you'll be no notified of my next upload.